Cause he loves me so And this I know for sure But does he really want to Can't stand to see me Walk out the door Don't try to fight the feeling Cause the thought alone Is killing me right now Thank God for mom and dad For sticking to the game Cause we don't know God, it just don't get it when there's nothing at all oh, 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 oh. We get together, oh we get together The separate's always better when there's feelings involved oh, oh, oh. If what they say is nothing is forever Then what makes love the exception? Oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why, oh why Oh we so in denial when we know we're not so happy For this, for the basics, is going to be Icarus Jets, Flight Suit Maxed Out is best, Punisher SMG with Impulse Nades, and then Safe Fall 5 is also an essential. Those are all your like essential parts of the core build. Everything else you can kind of feather and change the way that you'd like. Uh, it shouldn't matter too much. Alright, sorry for the pauses, guys. One thing I've felt I needed to go over that I didn't really emphasize before is while you are doing the surfing, you cannot look forward while using jet fuel. If you are looking forward while using jet fuel, you are cutting the momentum that you have. Um, so what you have to do is you look sideways, you let go, you look sideways, and then once you're fully sideways, you use your jet fuel and as soon as you feel yourself going back up, you let go, you can peek forward to see where you're going, and then rinse and repeat that process over and over again. But remember, the key to this is you do have to look sideways while using jet fuel. All right, dudes, so I'm gonna walk you through this step-by-step step the easiest way I know how to teach you. Um, and we'll get right to it. Yeah, so for this first one guys, all you're going to do is jump out of your Rassi. I don't want you to use jet fuel. I don't want you to look any other way. 
just jump out so that you hit the ground. Uh, on the second one, pull yourself off the ground so you're jumping out and boosting right away. Because I want you to feather your boost. Don't turn, don't do anything, just jump. Space bar, space bar, space bar. Feather it. This next one you're going to do a little bit less and once you get close enough, I want you to look to your right and go ahead and jump right in. So you can either feather it, which will keep you moving faster, or you can shoot yourself higher. Obviously slow you down a little bit, but you do stay the same speed. Uh, another one I wanted to show you was an S-turn. The S-turn is going to teach you how to do one way and then back the other way. Boost right before you hit the ground. Hold that boost until you start coming back up. And once you feel that cresting out and you're starting to like climb back up the, the mountain per se, then you let go and ride that out. This one, this is gonna be an impulse nade added onto the typical surf that you did before. You're gonna go ahead and whip right as you come out and shoot it at the ground. Without any impulse nade at all, if you have a mountaintop to stand on top of and find a somewhat of a ramp to land on, It'll get you going, and you don't necessarily need an impulse nade. Look at that. That kind of smooth, fluffy red sand you can only find on in the... Oh, baby. And you'll see right there, as soon as, as, soon as you hit, you just got to hit something ramped while using jet fuel, and it's going to kick you up. Just once again, rinse and repeat. As long as you got the right uh, build, you should be able to go for a pretty long time. You're going to go from a standing position, and what you're going to do is you're going to jump you use a little bit of jet fuel it's not the worst thing in the world it's not that big of a deal but you're gonna jump you're gonna whip and shoot your impulse nade behind you at your not necessarily at your feet but just a little further out okay and what that's gonna do is that's gonna bounce you straight forward depending on the angle of the sphere so if it's further away from you that means it's gonna give you a flatter angle to the ground more parallel to the ground with more speed if it's closer to your feet it's going to bounce you a little bit higher with less speed. Now, each of those can be utilized in different ways, and that's going to be up to you to decide in each situation. Another quick trick I wanted to show you guys was the double bump off of jump pads. As you can see there, it gives you a lot more height and a lot more speed. There's, there's nothing too crazy about these ones, but you can definitely... Uh, make some stuff happen. Another one that can be kind of cool is if you have a friend who's trying to learn, both of you grab flashes, both of you grab Rassies, line it up and then send it at the same time. Make sure it's unlocked so that the other person can get into yours, but you're, the idea is you're switching vehicles. You saw this earlier, um, you can flip. This is big enough to do a double but you can flip and get back in relatively easy. Now, with that being said, what you'll find is you need to roll to your right. Nine times out of 10, when you roll to your right, when you get out, you'll be out above the harasser instead of below. So on the offhand, if you roll left, it will drop you below the Rassi and it still works sometimes it makes for some cool clips but it's a lot less consistent than rolling right and to those of you all of those people out there who I've been telling you to roll left I'm stupid I'm sorry it's yeah you're supposed to roll right all right guys so that's gonna be it for this how to surf video uh, this is kind of like the basic mechanics of everything I wouldn't say it goes much further than this but you will notice from your first hour to your 50th hundredth hundred fiftieth hour you will be night and day difference from where you started and incrementally yes you will get to a point where 
you can pretty much just destroy any Sunday, any tank, anything that's in your way and doesn't know you're coming, you could pretty much take it out for the most part. Maybe maybe a, a fully stacked out deployment shield Sunday, you know what I mean? That one's a little bit tougher, but please don't go ruining things for other people. Uh, don't try and target people too many times in a row, anything like that. Have fun with it, do your thing, and, you know, enjoy planet side and let other people enjoy it too. All right, guys, I just want to say thanks for watching. I'm going to leave you here with a few clips with the homies and uh, some training stuff that I did. Don't sleep on the training facility, boys. That uh, It's definitely worth it. If you don't know what you're doing or you want to try and learn something specifically, go to the virtual, man. Thanks for watching. As always, much love. I hope you uh, enjoyed your stay and, you know, stay busy. Oh, I can't forget about this. I'm issuing the A for 8 Fujin Challenge to any Fujin player out there who thinks they can go 8 Fujins in one life, headshots only, bada bing, bada boom, clip it, snip it, and ship it. Peace.